In this video, we're going to take a look at a yellow ink by Pilot, their mixable yellow. Now, as always, there's timestamps down below so you can skip around, but if you've got the time, I'd appreciate you checking out the entire video. Also, down in the description is a link to the yellow ink playlist, so if you wanted to see more of them, you could find that there. I'm an ink guy. Let's get into the first writing sample on 90 GSM Clairefontaine. My nose has been itching like crazy and I forgot my line for that reason. No bleeding, no ghosting. Here's the surprise. It is much more readable than I was really expecting. We get no feather, spread, halo, sheen. We get shading in the stub, shading in the extra fine, shading in the medium. Absolutely fantastic looking, all the same tone. Very bright, not a full page thing, but very nice. Extra fine took 12 seconds to dry, medium 16. Scrubby for both shows, some color variation. We're getting tons of it in the writing. And the smear test you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. To have a range of experience with this ink, all of the writing samples are done with a Jinhao 159 with a 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a medium, and a Jinhao X750 with an extra fine. Then a Pelican P200 with a medium nib was inked up, used for a day, and used to take the notes for this video. The next writing sample is done on 52 GSM Tomoe River. No bleeding, no ghosting. Look at how nice and readable that is. I am just, I was dumbfounded after I was done with this. We have no feather, spread, halo sheen. We get nice shading in the stub, nice shading in the extra fine, nice shading in the medium. Absolutely gorgeous. The stub is a bit darker than the extra fine and medium, which are about the same tone. Extra fine took 16 seconds to dry and the medium took 23. The scrubby for both do show some color variation, which we are getting in the writing. And the smear test, you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. I agree with Vita. There's a lot to learn by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. A line of ink is put down and then it's put in the water for 10 to 15 seconds. And we see a great prime yellow, which for this being a mixable yellow makes it perfect. Now it flees from the water. The one on the right is let dry for 10 minutes before it's put into water and it looks exactly the same. So we can expect no resistance from this ink. The last writing sample is done on 80 GSM Rhodia Dop Head. No bleeding, no ghosting. We get no feather, spread, halo sheen, nice shading in the stub, decent shading in the extra fine, really nice shading in the medium. The extra fine's a little lighter than the stub while the medium's about the same tone as the stub. Extra fine took nine seconds to dry and medium 11. Now the scrubby for both give almost, you know, give a little bit of color variation, a lot less than we saw in the other papers. Which, you know, I've heard some people don't care for this paper for different reasons and in that it doesn't always show all the shading as well as that Clairefontaine. We do get shading in both the writings and the smear test you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. For the inks tested, the average viscosity is 2.5 with a realm of normal from 2.1 to 2.9. Pilot's Mixable Yellow has a viscosity of 1.24, making this a very wet ink. Now, if you're interested in how the viscosity tests and all that's done, then down in the description is a link to that video. For the inks tested, the average dry time was 17 seconds, with the realm of normal being from 13 to 21 seconds. Pilot's Mixable Yellow has an average dry time of 15 seconds, so it's normal. Now, instead of finding inks that look like Pilot's Mixable Yellow, I'd prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. I decided to go with a great blue ink by Krishna, their Winter. Now, if you'd prefer a different complement color, then down in the description are links to those playlists. So, what do I think of Pilot's Mixable Yellow? I had low expectations, so I only did the three writing samples. I was wrong. It's a very usable yellow. I am shocked, judging by the swab, because I didn't think by the swab it would be usable. Plus, yellow is an essential mixing color, so this is a great prime for mixing. 
So what nib and pen give the best writing experience with this ink? A medium flow fine or medium nib really put down enough color to easily read and even show off a bit of that shading where it starts to lean a bit yellow in or yellow orange in its darker areas. Very nice. I hope you got something out of this video and in the next video we're going to take a look at Noodler's Black Eel.